What the fuck? Oh. 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 oh my god! What I'm about to do, not meant out of disrespect. I hear you. Oh my god. By sound and flame, we call to the spirits of the spirit end. What the f is that? Do this mirror. Presence behind Call you mirror. forth. For centuries, the pub served lonely travelers. Some believe it holds echoes of a sinister past. Whoa. That wasn't like tape breaking free. That it was, was like creaking and tapping. One at your foot. Red. Look at that. That's in. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yo. A tree? Whatever. Attachment. Carry. Shuttle. Always. Oh wow, this is it. Yo! Oh, I'm telling them straight up this. After three and a half years of trying, we finally got into the Skirid Inn. It's considered to be the most haunted location in the United Kingdom, one of the most notorious spots across the world. And after eight hours of non-stop investigating here, I am so overwhelmed by the amount of evidence that we captured tonight that I can't even compute everything that's happened. Poltergeist activity, numerous times in a row, in the room we're in, multiple cameras on it. We have a five and a half minute EVP, five and a half minutes long, one recording, nonstop speaking, that I have literally had to ask viewers to help us figure out what it is because of the, that, amount of intensity in it. Dan apparently went into a trance during a demonic summoning ritual that we did. So we're gonna give you this episode essentially as raw and authentic and uncut as we can give it to you. For you to kind of join this investigation with us. Please, if you hear or see anything or recognize anything or tie things together that we missed, please comment it. And at the end of the video, let us know what you think. Without further ado, the Overnight Channel has stayed. Scared Tonight, we will be sleeping in the most haunted hotel in the world, the Scared Inn. Over 180 people have been killed in these very rooms, with a history stretching back over 900 years. It is a place steeped in bloodshed, death, and dark hauntings, earning it a terrifying reputation. Located in Lanfihangel, Krikorni, Wales, the Scared Inn served as a courthouse where criminals were tried and executed. The upper floor acted as the courtroom, and the hangings took place inside the building itself, something extremely uncommon throughout all of history. Convicted men and women were led from their sentencing to the beam that still hangs above the staircase, where they were hanged to death. This is not just folklore. The executions actually happened here, leaving behind a deep stain of suffering in the walls of the building. 181 people were hanged at the Skirid, their necks snapped by the rope that still casts a chilling shadow over the staircase. The bodies of the executed were often left hanging for hours, sometimes days, as a warning to others, or perhaps sinister entertainment to those that sentenced them to die. The creaking of the beam under the weight of the condemned is said to still be heard late at night. The notorious Judge George Jeffries, known as the Hanging Judge, presided over trials at the Skirid Inn during the bloody assizes. Jeffries sentenced hundreds to death, some for a crime as minimal as stealing bread, leading to his legacy of cruelty and death looming over the inn. Many of the victims are now buried in a small, ancient cemetery that neighbors the property. It is believed that the spirits of the dead often wander from their graves to the Skirid, drawn to the place where their lives were violently ended. The Skirid Inn is not just known for its gruesome past, it is infamous for its intense and terrifying paranormal activity. Ghost hunters, visitors, and staff have all reported disturbing phenomena, and many leave the inn with experiences that have haunted them for life. Some of the most frightening events include the noose sensation, the feeling of a noose tightening around the neck. People standing near the staircase where hangings took place have reported suddenly gasping for breath, feeling as if an invisible rope is strangling them. Some have even been left with red marks around their necks as if they had been hanged themselves. The ghost of a hanging victim. The apparition of a man who was hanged at the inn has been seen floating near the staircase, his ghostly body swaying as if still on the noose. His presence is often accompanied by an overwhelming feeling of dread. Some have even heard the trapdoor drop and the beam creak as his body falls through thin air. A plague woman, a woman named Fanny Price, who died of the plague, is said to roam the upper floors of the inn. Her sobs echo in the dead of night, and her ghostly figure has been seen standing at the 
the foot of guests' beds. Some have awoken to the feeling of cold hands touching their skin. Violent poltergeist activities frequent at the scary. Glasses and plates are known to fly across the room. Objects move on their own, and doors slam shut without explanation. Staff have been physically attacked by unseen forces, pushed, scratched, and even thrown against walls. One terrified visitor claimed they were dragged down the stairs by an invisible entity. Shadow figures are often spotted lurking in the corners of rooms or peering around doorways. These figures are said to be the tormented souls of those who were hanged at the inn. One particularly malevolent shadow is believed to be Judge Jeffries himself. Still condemning souls to death in the afterlife, the inn is filled with disembodied voices. Whispering can be heard from empty rooms, and some have reported hearing the final screams of those who were executed. Eerie pleas for mercy echo down the hallways late at night. Ghostly footsteps follow visitors through the inn. Some guests have heard their own names whispered in their ears when no one else was around. Visitors have reported suddenly falling ill or fainting, being scratched, cut, or bruised, all of which are believed to be caused by spirits lashing out in anger towards those still fortunate enough to be living. Nearly every example of paranormal activity has been captured by our team tonight. In the area where the trials were held, sentences were issued and executions were performed, now all been converted to three rooms where guests can stay in, all of which will all be occupied by our team tonight. The Skirid Mountain Inn is not just a place of historical significance, it is a house of horrors where the spirits of the wrongfully condemned, the hanged, and the murdered still roam. With its gruesome history of hangings, violent deaths, and supernatural activity, the inn has earned its reputation as one of the most haunted places in the world. Paul, hello, sir. Hi, guys. Welcome to uh, South Wales and the uh, Skirid Inn, oldest and reputed to be most haunted in in the UK. From your knowledge, what is like the most incredible paranormal thing that has happened here? Sightings, apparitions. A lot of people get affected here. We've had people come out with rope marks around the neck. People actually sort rope of marks. being pulled up by an invisible rope. Not too long ago, I had a group up here. Total skeptic guy, come along with his wife, almost sort of dragged along, you know, come on, come on, let's go something with me. And we're doing a bit of a sort of seance, a holdy handy thing. All of a sudden we heard this gurgling and choking sound in the background. And all of a sudden this guy who was a total skeptic, been dragged by his wife, was sort of choking, turned around and vomited oh all the my God. One quite small room, which was Fanny Price's room, and then two two really big rooms. Got it. Yeah. Oh my God. Originally though, they were the courtrooms. Yeah, bed bedroom one was basically with the, it's got the sunken bathroom. That was the the condemned man cell, well the holding cell. Yeah. Um, and then as they stepped up into bedroom one, they were met by the judge who is now bedroom two. His derobing room or his, his quiet room was bedroom three. So he'd come out, sit in front of the uh, the accused, and then decide what their fate was. If it was a fine, they got off. If it was uh, death by hanging, they were dropped down the staircase. Oh, I just, I just, I just that's... did the math on that. Like that has to be like the most, in terms of the most amount of deaths in a single room. I would say so. That you, could, that you can go to, not like buildings, not like Waverly Hills, but like this mm. room. 181. 181. Yeah. People died in that room that's yeah. on record. Yeah. And they're buried at the back. Literally right here. Yep. yep. This is the uh, the staircase. Well, across the back of there, you can actually feel the, the where the, the ropes. You you wouldn't die instantly. You'd wriggle around quite a lot. Yeah. Around, but... You can feel like just like oh yeah indented. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The, the the prisoners cell. So they would be brought up, and this is where they would be held before they went and saw the judge. Go in there and spend five minutes. You'll either come out feeling like you want the world to end or you'll come out feeling really emotional. Yeah, bedroom one, so this, this really would have been where the um, accused would have been brought up from his holding cell um, and stood in front of the judge. This right here is the type of bed where you wake up, you just see someone just like hanging like this. Well, that's, you know, that's funny you should say that. See? A dark shadow is often seen standing at the side of the bed. Oh, just damn. looking. A very tall, six foot tall, dark shadow, just almost like and people actually woke up and this this it's no no features, it's just a black, black shape. Yeah, so room two, the judge would have sat, uh, sat in jury here and uh, made his decision. This this was Fanny's room. So oh, Fanny right. Price just where she passed the consumption. Yeah. Which was basically TB, so 
Uh, it was because it was called consumption, but it basically consumed your body, so she'd be, go from a quite a, a big healthy lady to sort of nothing and be coughing up blood, and there'd be lots of sort of <coughs> gurgling and coughing sounds, um, and yeah, her body would be consumed by the uh, TB and sort of quite a long, slow pain from that. I'm not gonna lie, the moment we walked in like this room, my chest, yeah, and, like this part, my throat, I want to cough a lot. Yeah, right yeah. now. You have crazy that anytime there's like any known like female spirit to you. I don't know why. It's weird. You know why? Why? Smile, look at the camera. Show him. Show him. Smile. Smile, look at the camera. Show him what you do. Smile, look at the camera. What do I do? Do Jerry. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> you just did it. You just, just started. See, look, he doesn't even get it. That's why he's perfect. <laughs> well, I'm he so even confused. Look at that. He what did I do? It. Not really I did. Like if we said, hey Jerry, we're gonna take a picture of you right now, what would you do? What was that bang then? Yeah, what was that bang? We're all in here. Like I thought, did you hear it? Like a boom. But you're right, John's right there. Where's John? Right, like, yeah, it was, yeah, it was, we it felt his tag was underneath. Yeah, he's right. Yeah, that yeah, was below. That was underneath us. It's not really him. I did. Like if we said, hey Jerry, we're gonna take a picture of you right now, what would you do? What was that bang then? You got room three? Not really. You didn't get to hang out with the succubus last night. Okay. That was... It's true. You can show Fanny what you're packing. <laughs> <laughs> it's locked, yeah. It's on the air lock. I thought I did it, so... No, I left it open. But you no, left it open. you did not. Yeah, because when I came to it, it was open. God, we heard that noise. I thought, I'm good to go on top, make sure it's locked. And it's locked. Well, wait, I wait, left wait, that wait. door open. So whoever's locked it's in here with us. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. I left, I left it like this. I left it like that. No, time to sort of shot now. I thought, oh, push, no. It's not the wind then, it's the wind again. No, because you need some force to close so that. That's like the identical sound though. Yeah, from, yeah. The, from upstairs. Clearly, yeah, that would have been the identical sound, the like, identical angle that we all heard at too. Grab that. Close out. No. That like sound matches up perfectly too, because yeah. it's just a single yeah. thud, single like shutting. Yeah. Action, that's we it. We couldn't do that, could it? It's not, it's not no, no, it's, it's, no. It has to be hard. The little story about the Devil's Cup, it's a bit of a sort of legend that um, they believe it's like the, the two handled cup. And it's, it's in Welsh, it's called a Pocker Cup. And it's, it's uh, Shakespeare is supposed to have taken an influence from it in one of his, one of his writings. And the, the theory was that the, uh, in the past, the, to keep the spirits away from here and to keep the devil appeased, they would leave a, a, a jug of ale uh, on the on the steps outside. Mm. So, Looking off. Then. Yeah. So tonight we didn't want to keep the spirits happy and we didn't want to keep the devil out. So the cup's there. It, it's caught. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank, thank you. I do appreciate that. that actually. And I'm not being sarcastic. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't think you would be. Can I grab it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. What? Why would you? <laughs> Why would I not? What? What do you mean? Have you picked up before? I don't know. No. You guys should clean this for the devil. <laughs> It's kind of pretty gross. <laughs> <laughs> supposed to uh, make the spirits happy and keep the devil. What happens if you drink out of it? Ooh, uh. Disease. <laughs> yeah, lots. You want to smell it? <laughs> Consumption. Yeah. It smells pretty bad. Smell it. Oh, God. I think that it sounds like a nice idea to go out to the graveyard because if anyone is still over there, in that point to see if we can invite them back into the home with the kind of like communication of yes. Oh. Like, yes, this is where something unjust happened to you, but it's no longer that place. And it might be an easier location for us to be able to like hear their stories, mm. and be able to talk to them and communicate with them. So, you know what I mean? I don't know how far did you? Hear that? Yes. Who's that? We all heard it, right? Yeah. yeah. So, you know what I mean? I don't know how far. Did you hear that? Yes. Who's that? We all heard it, right? Yeah. yeah. This will be here all night for us. Yeah, I feel like let's go to the cemetery. Uh -huh. okay. See if there is anyone there at all that would like to come and join us, and that way we know 
all of the possible spirits in the area are with us in this one building. All right, and Dan, you've been there, so let's go first. And you know where Fanny's grave is, right? I know it's on the left somewhere here. Might just have to look at them a bit. Oh, there's something right there. There's something on that grave. Dan, you haven't told her which one's Fanny's grave yet, right? No. See if you can find it without reading it. like a music giant. Do you hear it? Yeah. Do you hear it? Yeah. I guess it's coming from like where the scare it is that way, but it's like a, every once in a while I keep hearing like a... Ah. There's something right here on that grave on the right. And right behind it. Whoa. A tree growing out of there. That's crazy, isn't it? I've heard stories of trees growing in between like married couples when people wanted them to like separate, oh. but they stayed together. Oh, I didn't know that. That's crazy. I feel like it's just this side has something attached to each headstone and this side doesn't. That's really Maybe weird. It's closer to the church or something? Yeah, why sure. would that make sense? Yeah. Section tragic. Here we go. Oh, wow. Literally. This is it. And you got section tragic right off the bat. Wow. This is it. I don't want to think about it. Well, Fanny, or anyone else that's here, or in the nearby unmarked areas, we're hoping that by us being on this ground, you might be able to hear or feel our energy. And with the purest intentions that we can, We wanted to just let you know if you at all would like to join us tonight in the Skirid Inn, you're more than welcome to. It is not what it once was. Compare. Carbon. Perry. There is no more tragedy or death that intentionally takes place there anymore. So if you'd like to join us there, we'll have all of the abilities and tools and different methods to be able to hear your story. Whether you want to share positive things or negative things, it makes no difference to us. We're just willing to listen. It's off right here. Right there, right there, and then in between these two. We came here with all good intentions. Not here to hurt you. Plant. That's a plant. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should have brought an offering, like a flower. For any of the lost souls here that are buried in the unmarked graves, uh, that were hung here. Uh, we know that just before you were hung, you had your last beer, uh, but come join us over at the inn and we'll pour you a beer so you can join uh, with us. As much beer as you want. You yeah. have beer, wine, chips, beer. spread. Spread. I'm put on a spread. Full spread. <laughs> okay, we need beer and spread. <laughs> we're gonna have this box set up in the hotel. If at any point, while we're in the hotel, that box goes off. We'll know that you want a beer. And we'll go pour you one. Maybe they're already there. It's still going off right here. I feel like they're ready. Oh yeah, there's three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, wow. That's pretty absurd because they shouldn't be mapping blank spaces. Yeah, wow. and this in-between one right here keeps going off. Yeah. yeah, like that doesn't look human-esque at all. Uh-uh. Let's go back to the scared. Yep, see you there. Go room two, right off the bat. Room two. Center of the whole building. Yo, I'm not even close to it.
almost didn't get. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, that is so cool. What the fuck? Just whoa. Yo. Hey, yo. What the fuck? Dude. Oh my god. Wait, I don't like that. Oh my god. Bro. How did that happen? What the fuck? Oh god. Fuck. Oh, holy oh my god. Shit. Uh, Elton. Elton! Is he here? Is he? Yeah, fine. That didn't slowly creep open. That I'm open with intention. Dog. It's taped shut. Nothing's taped. Is that taped? Yeah, it was shut. taped shut. Dude. Duct tape. Duct tape. I literally just bit, I was setting this up right here. I didn't even get close to it. All you heard is Yeah, that is so cool. What the fuck? Just whoa. Yo. What the fuck? Just whoa. Yo. Oh. I can't do that. Holy shit. There's two duct tapes. Well, now we know why they have to tape it up. You yeah. better get up here. Wow. Bro, oh get up here quick. This, this, is, oh. this is so cool. Like, this is Bro. so cool. It was insane. It was that will not insane. stop going off. Gosh, one more thing. It's so long. Wow, we're all over here. Yeah. I it's tape, like, tape's quickly, trap. On camera? On, on camera. camera. On camera. I thought, yeah. like, it opened this way. I thought someone was literally, like, yeah. opening the door to, like, get well, something. Like someone else was and there. then everyone started freaking out. I was like, there's no one there. Because I'm, I'm setting this up, and all I did was right here, I'm trying to untangle it. And, it just and you just hear, yeah. Isn't that crazy? And then this went off. Right oh, after. the crazy. Dude. Dude. It's crazy. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> it was pretty yeah. cool, scary, but holy cow. Wow. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that was so insane. Sounds like a stop set that way as well. something like like almost like a woman's cough yo corner again said people would be waiting to figure out what happened to them based on the judge's verdict. Okay. Given that this wall wouldn't have been there, mm. we Same. should be able to hear that one. So it was already closed? It was yeah. closed. It was closed when we got in here. Cat ball again. 
Judge here with us right now. Yep. Dude, this is insane. If that's if that's the judge, could you come over here and open the uh, cupboard for us? I know you've been in there once before. Can you open it for us? States. I am not a criminal. I've not stolen any sheep or robbed any form of stagecoaches. I really want to just like catch an entity like walking. You guys want to say your names? Too? Yeah. And it is a judge after all. Hello, Judge. My name is Jerry. Also from the United States. Not a criminal here. You sure, Gary? Yeah. Mm, never come. I can't say <laughs> never now. Yeah, <laughs> haven't, haven't committed any crime here yet. Not planning on it. Would love to talk to you directly and hopefully hear from you. Here. Yeah, right there. Where? Where the capital is? Directly between the capital and the bed. I just had a figure. But it popped up the exact same time. Hello, Judge. My name's Ginger. Do you want to move to your left a little bit? Seems like you're starting to appear to us a little more now. A lot more. A lot more. Thank you. You can continue to play with these devices and the one Elton has as well. You can see very clearly with it. 
You can also speak to us using the device oh. on the ground as well. We're here with nothing but respect. We're here to learn. We're here to communicate. Can we try something? Yeah. Mm. Kill your camera lights? I didn't run. I was noticing every time you would shine your lights towards the action, it would disappear. Yeah. Is it active now? The bed has someone. Watch this. Check this out. Just give it a second. Why did it stop? See those? Do you see that, right? Like, yeah. that's, those are way too large to be. Like, right there. Whoa. There's like. Look at that. That's in. Whoa. Yeah. Like just oh, God. all different speeds, different angles. Some there's a, there's been a few just massive ones. Wow. Just for the sake of. This room versus the others. I want to check the other two rooms real quick with this. Fanny, is that you? Put energy into that box. We'll know for a fact that you're there. And we can pour you a pint. That sound good? Okay. No, but this is the only room. That has the warp. Yeah. You okay? That burned. What burned? Like burped and it just that burned top to bottom. But this is the only room that has any kind of orbs, static, anything at all passing in front of the camera. You didn't finish introducing yourselves. Judge, if you can hear me, my name is Don. I'm from England. You may not like me if you are Welsh, especially that time period. I uh, mean you no harm at all. If you would like to come forward and talk to us, what is that? Is that? Yeah, that's happening. Nothing. It was coming from the bathroom. It was out of that direction. Yeah. That was so weird. Did you hear that, Alton? Yeah. It was loud and clear. Was that you? Metallic. <laughs> Or maybe it's a uh, new map that you've got an Englishman here. Are you really mad? If you are, come and press these ones here. Not that one, these ones. If you can understand me, press these ones. In the other room, I saw three people standing shoulder to shoulder to shoulder, facing this direction. 
Is that why you're pacing back and forth? Are you deciding what should happen to those three people in that room? You want someone to listen to your thought process? We're here. Could you tell us what they're accused of doing? The long bomb sounds like it's here. Like, mm. like. Yeah, here, here. What are those three people accused of doing? They're all screwed. Yeah, right now it feels like it's just like residual energy, right? Mm -hmm. I like that. We know. Back and forth. That's happened. Rope hasn't gone off. Nothing else has gone off. Yep. So we have what it is now. This is the baseline. Try the kit, see if anything changes. Yeah, let's do it. <coughs> Thor! Oh my Thor god! Thor oh my my god. god. Thor just from weapon. Did you get it? I did not. Like every that single person blocking all of my cameras. No, 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 no. That one had to get it. I was not even, I was here. Oh that one got it. I, I heard the Is there a camera on the floor still? No, I just moved it to right here, right now, and Shh. everyone was standing in front of me. I heard the sweet, sweet this one. Saw it swinging behind you. Wow. This one had gotten it, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I was not in front of it. Is that a sign to change rooms or stay in the room? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's a sign to. What does it say? Satan. And it said it like. Right when you said Sweet. that. No. No, it's. It... Carry. God damn. It said. What the fuck? Did all these come from. They got active. Holy it said gosh. Satan in the way that it did in Poltergeist House. <clears throat> Satan. He didn't say it normally. <coughs> and that's like the last time I ever remember this saying. Satan, devil, hell, and war museum. Okay, so everything it said from the time me entering the room was unclear row, which later I walked in there and saw a row of three people. Then it said fell already, which they would push them off the top. Yeah. yeah. And that could have been when we were asking, what are you deciding to do? Yeah. Mm. And then level, I don't know when that popped up. And then right now it said, Satan, 45 seconds after that door opened. Yeah. Skill, demonstrating an ability to do that twice. Decompose, carry, shuttle, always. And that to me is like attachment. Carry, shuttle, always. <laughs> I think it'd be great if we went in the other room and that did fl still fling open. Okay, I'm closing it. I'll take one. Make sure this is okay. Two. Afraid smell. Okay. Seal it. Taped. What did it say? Sharp feeling. Sharp. Yes. It's going <coughs> off right now. Wait. The tape's dangling off. Didn't you just Dude, I button? swear to God, Jerry. I just taped it down. Wait. Before time. It makes me wonder if that is the same. Something that like if you can the push the cabinet out. open, it can break the ceiling. Because they said it happened unexpectedly. That'd be a crazy thing to happen. If the whole roof just falls on us. 
Someone it's... here just sit, claimed to be Satan and skilled. Or maybe you're referencing. Oh, here we go. I heard it tapping. Dog. I heard the thing tapping. We literally taped this shut. Or maybe you're referencing. Oh, here we go. Did you hear it tapping? Yes. yes. That wasn't like tape breaking free. That it was, was like creaking like... tapping. Yeah. What's in there? I don't know, but the only thing that, what that sounds like to me is like this, like being like... Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Is that right? Is that what you were doing? Playing a game? A little... <laughs> is it fun for you to put fear into people? It's like... Tapping that now. Oh, it's like interrupting him. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, <laughs> Beep twice for yes. Long one for no. Do you view yourself as something similar to Satan? No. Yeah, it's not. No. But are you certain? What time are two then? I was trying to say no. I think. I'll give you one. Now it's just going off. Yeah, now it's not cooperating. It's not following your rules. That's a crazy thing to be able to hear that. Yeah, I had the top of the What? 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 Oh, what? is that you? What? Oh, God. oh my God. What? I think the creaking, the tapping. Oh. Tapping what? Take my hands. Okay. Don't move. That's a crazy thing to be able to hear that. Yeah, I had the top of the What, what, oh, is that you? What? Oh, God, oh my God. What? I think the creaking, the tapping. Oh. Tapping what? Take my hands. Okay. Don't move. It almost sounds like a clock ticking, but like only now and again. Yeah, like tut tut. Yeah. Tut upstairs. Ask it a question now because it hasn't gone off. We're trying to understand why it said Satan skill. Are you referring to someone in this building as Satan? Can you do two quick? For yes, or a long hold for no. Bang. No. No. Got wrong. It's a no. It was solid in the minute too. It was no. Yeah. As soon as you asked the question, it went off. So it's intelligent. Yeah, you're right. Because when I said don't move, everyone was silent. Yeah. Even it the machine you. was silent. Whatever that is now, I can understand you. It's not pacing it's really anymore. Nothing at all. 
as soon as I found it, we as soon as we directed mm -hmm. towards it, you know. And the loop has stopped. Now it's just talking to you. So it's it not going back to something forth. different. Do you believe or are you warning us that something in this building is either Satan or similar to him? Let's go a different question route. Quick, yes, long, no. You're planning on sleeping in here tonight. Is anyone going to get harmed? Or will you attempt to? It's like it knows just that we know. Yeah. Everything just went dead. Right? Yeah, yeah you're right. Even even leads over here. Has it gone off since? Reveal. As we're saying, like, we know that it knows. Oh now it's paused everything. Ooh. I feel like a cold spot there. Mm -hmm. Cold, you feel that? Like? It's weird. I don't see it, but it keeps trying to track on something. Bye. Just above you, yeah. It keeps trying to lock. Even though you're right here, it's locked onto Dan's face, but then something above you. What well, if we move out of the way? We don't see it clear. We can try, yeah. Something just like Yeah, it's like right above the picture frame, beneath the molding. Huh. It's just like a strip of like the least amount of temperature in the room, but heat would rise. What's in here are the blankets. Oh. Like, come on, get that get comfy. Huh? Asking you to sleep in the bed. Yeah. Huh. Let's try the other one. Okay. Because now we know. I just love that whoever's sleeping in this room tonight, which I think is me and Ginger, is that thing is absolutely going to open at some point in the middle of the night. <laughs> now that we're here, hold, sail, power, wish. Oh my god. Salorin. Basement. Creek. Master. Master. Oh my god, it's going off. Uh, am I the only one that's looking at this right now? The tripwire is going stupid. Oh shit. Like, literally look look at, dude. Do you know how hard it is to set these off? Look at all those other ones. Look at the one that's tripping right now. This hasn't gone off. Every single one of them is an individual. It's this individual thing. And do you know how hard it takes? Literally, I have to step on it. Is that Elton? Elton, do you see this? They're nonstop. This was up at Ancient Ram last night for a full hour. And yeah. And we had this set up in room two the whole time. Nothing's tripping. And Sonic real quick in the first one? Yeah. If we're in the middle of something, we might as well find out. We can see the incredible amount of energy in this room right now. If you can hear our voice, is there something you would like to say? I've said British twice. Do you not like the fact that I'm here and I'm British? Is this Fanny or is this some other entity that's currently here with us right now? Is someone in this room willing to tell us why we got the words Satan skilled? 
ending. So weird, I felt like someone, something bit my finger. I thought there was like an ant or something that like had bit my finger. It's the weirdest little, just like, you know, feeling. I think there's like spiders crawling. Dude, that's so weird. It's, but this one's in my pants. There's loads of voices on that. Just yeah, the full room talking. It's something that says God damn it. It says God. I'm going to double rewind. Listen for God cannot take you out of here. This, it's my place. At the end, it's out of here. It's my place. It's like God cannot take something, something out of here. It's my place. I hear it's a never ending hell. Okay. Whatever that is, he's trying to speak to us. Let's, let's sit real quick and then see. That's great, yeah, because on the SLS earlier, it's right here is where there was three different clear as day figures. We can hear what you're trying to say, your energy. Is there any way you can try and communicate just a bit more slowly? I know that's asking a lot, especially if you haven't had the ability to speak in a while, but we wanna be able to do our best to be able to hear you. So could you very, Slowly and clearly say your name. Are you upset that we're here or are you happy that we're here? Were you killed in here, hung from the bastard? Are you the being who keeps opening the closet door? If you're not, can you tell us who is doing that and why they're doing it? Ending. What were you doing with your hand? I don't know. Your left hand, you were like doing like a figure eight thing. I was distracting from the fact that it felt like I had a spider nibbling on me right here. Mm. And I didn't want to like scratch <clears throat> and make a noise. So I think I did that to distract myself. But yeah, it went from here to here. And now it feels like there's something here. It's very odd and uncomfortable. You can still see like 
You can like see like the hair standing on my fingers just from whatever it is. insanely long scream and then having a voice in it. Mm -hmm. What? What? Did you hear I heard it? the voice change. Did you hear how it said that? Yeah. It didn't evil. say evil. It said evil. If it also says hell, the, the only time it's ever done that is Poltergeist House. I have stopped using this because of how infrequently it's gone off. And as we're playing this back. So what she was pointing out, what Jim was pointing out when we were listening back, and as I was slapping my leg, it said arrived legs, assault, wrong, do run. It said several gauze, riding during bank farmers. Norman, slower, slur. 11, Ida, necessary, and then we got evil, and then it said maybe. Maybe alone, northern 40. Can you repeat the name that you shouted, or whatever you were trying to say? If you can say it without screaming, and as clear as you possibly can, right here into this device. From the last one, you sounded very, very, very angry. What is making you so angry and upset? Right before you asked your question, I had the weirdest, like, thought, vision. I don't know, I could, like, see it in my head of basically that screaming. Mama. To me, almost feels like if you were sentenced to death here for something so minor mm -hmm. that you might have done for all the right intentions and then you were dropped and had your neck snapped and if that didn't paralyze you and cut off the pain, then you were still going to strangle and watch that happen. Mm -hmm. And that's your final moment on earth. Like the only thing maybe you can do in the afterlife if you're now stuck there is just scream. So if you need to scream to communicate, we understand. And we'll still do our best to try and hear what it is that you're saying. If you need to scream, scream as loud as you need to and welcome anyone else who might be stuck with you to do the same. Ending. I don't know why, I just like thought about that. I was like, imagine like, do we actually like, expect all of them to be able to just go, oh yeah, hey, mm. okay. my, name, my name's Paul. Yeah, I died here. Oh cool, what do you guys want to know? Yeah, I, I was a sheep farmer. Uh, I took, you know, like, yeah. 
Well, it's kind of like what you were explaining to us, Dan, with the the loop never ending, the memory that the house remembers. So yeah. that could be memories that the house remembers near the stairwell, it's just the screaming over and over Tragic. and over. Tragic. And that's just stuck here, and it'll never leave. Then again, could the scream have to be in home? Or is the screaming to the hanging? Mm. The sentencing, which happened right there. Yeah. 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 That's true. Do this. Well, the truth. Up to you. I can't see. You have the only light. It is not open. No. Literally not open. No. Nothing. It's almost more validating a few times before. Police. That's what that light was that we just saw shining in here was the police shining their light up into this window. Really? Yeah, they just drove off right there. But I just caught them at the tail end with their lights in the bottom floor. But yeah. Police. Yeah. Yeah. He's on too, right? Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, it was the cops. Shining, that's what that big beacon, I was okay, like, yeah, I, thought, I thought it was like daylight. Was no, it was like headlight up here. Huh? Shining a flashlight up here. Yeah, it was like, head, by. I was like, headlights couldn't aim yeah, this no, high. So definitely I not. It was like, as our light came over to the window, they pulled away. Yeah. Want to leave this device in this room so we can hear whatever it is that you might be trying to say. But in order to do so, I need to know it's worth leaving in here versus keeping in the other room. I'll leave it on top. If it opens, and maybe there's something that happens at the exact same time, audio-wise, and when the door opens. You guys want to go in the other room, and I'll hit yeah. record and slowly creek out of here. It's still going. Kind of. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We are leaving the audio recorder in room two. Let us scare it in. Anything that you would like to say or let out, please do so. Basically, we had some rituals, I guess, designed for us. I reached out to a witch who wants to stay anonymous. I basically said, hey, we are going to these locations. Would you be willing to do research on the locations? Learn everything you can about them, historically, paranormal-wise and craft something for us that you believe can help stir up the energy, mm. right? Do a ritual, summon it, create it, manifest it. And we tried this last night at Ancient Ram Inn and it worked so absurdly well. Mm. It was it was genuinely like kind of scary. Okay. Because it went from nothing whatsoever to knocks and rattling, to all the devices going off. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, the Panasonic started getting insane recordings and like, the sea of things. The Panasonics get more clear, the Phasm Box gets more clear. The REM pod still has not gone off. Yeah, yeah. It's the same warning that was written for all the rituals, but it says, every ritual I've created for you is designed to entirely open your mind, body, and soul to those on the other side. If done correctly, they will be given extreme access without limit to your existence and can communicate in whatever way they desire. This may be visions or hallucinations, physical feelings of joy or immense pain, personality changes or complete possession. You may have thoughts that you have never had before and it is up to you whether you enact upon them or not. Anything that happens or which seems unusual to you 
to who you are at your core of your soul is a form of communication from the other side and you must acknowledge every action taken by those communicating in the spirit realm failure to do so may mean their actions taken will escalate to whatever means necessary to get their message through each ritual is customized to the locations you are visiting and the historical evidence as well as paranormal document documentation of those types of spirits if the area is known for the demonic these rituals attract or summon the demonic if the area is known for positive energy it does so as well it seems you've chosen to primarily go to darker locations on this trip best of luck and remember do not ignore the communication once you've completed any of these rituals that explicitly means to not close the rituals until they have stopped all communication i cannot guarantee that closing of the ritual means their connection or attachment may halt after all, you have asked to summon them, and now they want their stories or messages heard. The Scared Inn in the United Kingdom is one of the oldest and most haunted pubs in Wales, with a dark history of executions, ghostly apparitions, lingering malevolent energy. This ritual is specifically designed to be performed in one of the smallest, most confined rooms of the inn, where the oppressive atmosphere is already thick with the weight of centuries of suffering. The purpose of this ritual is to attract and consolidate all the evil energy within the inn into a single powerful force, making communication with these energies possible. The ritual is intense, unique, and designed to contain the energy within the room in it until it is intentionally released. This ritual can be conducted alone or with a maximum of four participants. More than this might diffuse the concentrated energy. And then the items required are all already here. I mean, I'm, I'm fine to just like booby trap the whole place. Let's do it. Sure. Go for it. You read step one. Step one. Read it like you read Latin. Preparation of the room. Whoa. Yo. Whoa. Ho. How does that happen? I don't, I did the, ah. Uh... I didn't touch it. I you said it like, like deep. It went yeah, all the center. way from there. I wedged it in, in the ornament. And then that one went off too. Holy cow. You set it up there? Yeah. How is that? So Were you put it up there? Yeah. He, he put he it. It's wet in there. How did they even? The participants must cleanse the rooms by sprinkling the mixture of the salt and ash. Just in this bottle. K two already spiking. Just instantly. Sprinkle this. Well, no one moved. That wasn't us, yeah. dude. We're at this point. We're away from it. Literally, no one moved. I leaned forward. My feet didn't move. There it goes again. I think uh, someone's a bit angry with putting our stuff on the... That's a mixture of black witch's salt and ash. So sprinkle it in a circle around the perimeter, scaling the area, preventing energy from escaping once we draw it in. So what I'm realizing is it opened the cabinet door three times. Stay on top. Then it stopped. It's done this twice. So I'm curious if it does a third time and then... The Wait, salt. What's that? That's what my force I took. Force it. By ash and black witch's salt, the circle is sealed. No force shall escape, no spirit shall flee. Okay, you keep doing that. What the f You really don't like having things in the wrong place. Joe. All these cat balls in the morning. <laughs> Flashlight. Flashlight on. on. Wow. Invocation of the spirits. Each participant should sit within the circle blindfolded to enhance their connection to the spiritual energies. The lack of sight will heighten their other senses and make them more receptive to the presence of spirits. So we gotta blindfold ourselves within the circle of the salt. Sight. Energy. Wow. Okay, the lead participant or the one 
most attuned to the spirit world okay. begins by lighting the black candle and ring the bell or sinking the singing bowl to create a resonance what the f just what was that where yeah, I don't want to do this one here. It doesn't like that you're hearing it. What is it? It's, I think, like a, a man. I don't know. It's very odd positioning. Female dress, man standing back like that, and females like underneath it. So we all got to sit inside the salt circle blindfolded. Okay. Come on in. Everyone gets a blindfold. Okay. You will see me. It says the, the lead participant or the one most attuned to the spirit world begins by lighting the black candle. All right, light the candle. By sound and flame, we call to thee Spirits of the spirit in, those who have suffered, those who have sinned, gather now. It's not all bad. Within this room, and to the mirror, embrace the gloom. Participants, still blindfolded, shall each place a hand on the ground inside the circle, focusing their intents on the mirror. The mirror is now the gateway, drawing in the evil energy from all corners of the- I need closure. And it says the lead participant chants softly. Spirits of darkness, come to this place, Gather and enter, reveal your face. Through this mirror, we call you forth, to speak, to show, to reveal your worth. Candle's flame may flicker or change, indicating the energies are beginning to converge in the mirror. Participants should be prepared to feel the temperature drop, hear whispers, or experience other signs of spiritual presence. Once the participants sense that the energy has gathered, the lead participant extinguishes the candle abruptly, sealing the energy within the mirror. I'll do the bowl. You guys tell me if you feel anything. Get away from here. He's here. K2 at the same time. change for anyone? Mm. I'm feeling very, very hot right now. Mm. Same. My head's kind of wonky. Yeah, wonky. Mm -hmm. Yet I'm watching the temperature. It has not risen from 69.9 degrees. Touch. Okay. And my head feels good. My 
behind him. Yeah. Almost all behind you. Yeah, same. Same. Cavalry. Okay. Like, I felt like my head was about to like get thrown forward or backwards. Yeah. This place. He's coming. Who's coming? The sigil of binding is then placed over the mirror, symbolizing the containment of all the gathered energy. The lead participant then commands, by the power of this sigil, we bind thee here. In this mirror you shall remain until released by our command. Speak now, reveal your truth, for you are now bound to this room. The energy is now concentrated within the mirror, making suddenly possible. The participants may ask questions or simply allow the energy to communicate through impressions, sounds, or visions. To communicate directly with the spirits, one participant may choose to place their hand on the mirror and open their mind to the energy within. This participant acts as a conduit, allowing the spirits to speak through them or channel their thoughts. The other participants should remain silent, focusing on the words or images that come through. If the energy feels too intense, the channeler should remove their hand from the mirror and break the connection. Once communication is complete, the lead participant rings the bell or singing bowl one final time, and that is to close it. The other option is for each participant to look into the mirror or scrying ball and see what images may appear. Connie. That's it. Funny. Nice little nap there, bud. Huh? No. You have a nice little nap? Yeah, full asleep. Did you? I don't think so. I think you went out. Unless you snore when you're awake. No, really. That's crazy. Do you snore when you're awake? No. Then you were out. For how long? Jasper. A minute? I don't know. I only heard you snore for like 45 seconds. I don't know how long you were asleep before that. I was asleep, in right? Asleep? Yeah. Asleep? I was, in, I was in a bad trance, though. Presence beyond mirror. Mirror. No. Presence beyond mirror. Yeah. He fell asleep and said funny. And then it says presence beyond mirror. Did you even notice? No. I think he went into like a... No, meditative state. You no, because the funny thing is, I, I wasn't. I was like walking around. You were walking around. Yeah, it's like I was. Um, I was like just walking normally, and then I was like, "Oh shit!" Like, I heard someone say, "Take the mask off." I'm like, "What the hell's going on?" What the? I was just like walking. You felt yourself walking around yeah. right now. Where? Like here? No, not I, I don't know where. I was just walking. Just wow. I wasn't looking at anything, but I knew I was walking. That's why I was like, I was like, oh wait a minute, I sat down, and then I thought everyone was looking at me when I took it off. I'm like, what happened then? Yo, I can't even think what that what that would mean. He's connected. You're just walking, and you were walking in their realm. Holy Spirit. Dude, that's so cool. I want to do that. 
I want to. I want to. No, I'm curious. That's actually What's pretty cool. Heard you say? What? I mean, we haven't. The K two has been going crazy since this, and now the heat has risen even though the candle's out. Well, it's not over. It's supposed to be like the beginning. It's supposed to be this scrying ball is now concentrated a vast majority of the energy. And it literally said feathers beyond the mirror. So it's connect beyond the mirror now. Let me get the Panasonic. See if we can try that now with one hand on Don't the mirror. Don't use this one. You have yours? Yeah. Sure. Oh, hell yeah. Who wants to put the hand on the wall? I think he should. Give it He's a go. the most connected. You hold it. I'm going to let you ask all the questions too. I'll just hold it for you. Okay. Three. What? You click record. Use your one. Wonder if it's a, a battery issue. No, I I put mine all the way down. I use mine all the way to the point where it dies. It wouldn't turn on. And we we know they're just AAA batteries. They're not like proprietary. I'm not saying false, so it's recorded. Go up. What the hell is recorded? I'll go get mine. Oh, I didn't even know they could beep. I don't. Yours is never beep. No. No, I literally thought he'd wait just ride his Panasonic right now, which would have been awful. Yeah. No, I think it's a battery. Want to find out? Yeah. Hiding in the dark. Okay, I'm just gonna take your batteries and put it in mine. Watch this both frying. Don't say a thing. Yeah. Yeah, so I'll do the batteries. I see you fried yours as well. <laughs> I'll go get the other one. Yeah, you know when you have done daydreams and uh, you kind of zap back to reality? Yeah. But you feel like you it was real for a second? Yeah. That's what it was like. It was like I was walking, but I don't know. I couldn't see anything. Maybe it was like a little bit of trance. You were sitting up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm curious if you were like, you were in, um, in the movie Insidious. You know how they like, yeah, no, astral go projecting. into like... Astral projecting. Mm. Oh. I think you probably was right saying like the med meditating state. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Probably something like that. Huh. Let's see if our friend in the cabin said anything? Yeah. yeah. Vernon. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Music box. Music box. Music box went off. I don't like that. I don't even hear it though. How did we not hear it? Oh. We cannot. One lady here. Okay. Mm -hmm. That'll be fun. I'm right next to you. Okay. Well, hello. Welcome. Hope you could join us. Pause it. It's so long. It's over five and a half minutes. What? That's where I paused it. I don't know how we didn't hear, but it is positioned way closer to that room than to us. Yeah, but still, still we should be able to hear it though. Yeah. yeah. And it's not like I'm surprised that that picked it up. Yeah. Being on the outside. Yeah, that picked it up. How did our ears not pick it up? Oh, that's a really good point. Yeah. That was. Clearly, yeah, the pickup on that isn't that good. Yeah. You've got to be right next to it. That's actually a really good point. Yeah, because it's currently pointed towards Fanny's room. Obviously, that is a tremendous amount, but the little things I was hearing almost sounded like we were hearing like trial, conviction, and like discourse amongst it. It was like, get him out of here. And then you would hear like yelling and you know, I don't know. It almost sounded like we just caught like that same residual energy, but of a trial or sentencing. Mm. If you took your time, you'd be able to hear what they say. I heard a, a woman say, silly, so silly. Yeah I, yeah, I was hearing small things like get out. And then I was hearing things like go to hell mm. and like you're wrong, like small little tiny things. 
What's crazy is it wasn't screaming. It wasn't like the same thing. It was a huge variety. Yeah, you're and right. And it stayed in the same spot. It wasn't just the consistent, like, loud static that we've mm-hmm. been hearing. It's, no, it's not massive. It's so like when we got that shout, we got that, it almost sounded like a, a bark. Mm-hmm. It's so inconsistent. We're going to have to, like, record the whole thing clean later. Mm-hmm. So we'll just do that, like, later tomorrow. We'll record the whole thing clean. Yeah. Wow. That's what I do. And then, yeah, that way we just have it. Just probably you know what I do sometimes? Yeah? I'll record it onto my phone. Oh, yeah. And I'll upload it to Google Drive and let people download it and listen and see if they can work oh, out. Oh, that's, that's cool. smart. That's pretty yeah. smart. There's a lot of people on Patreon that are, like, always ask. Yeah. That might be good because that is so long. Yeah, that's what I mean. And then also just having different ears yes. on it yeah. to, like, hear different things. Like, yeah, you're, that's a very good point. Very that's very good. All right, everyone on Patreon. Thank Dan. <laughs> that's true. We could just record it right to the phone and yep. just have the other Yeah. Phone. Without further ado, these are all your questions, sir. Three, two. Did you put me in a trance? Why was I visioning walking around? Where was I going? Did you want to take me somewhere else? Another room, maybe? And lastly, can you tell us who are we speaking to? What is your name? Someone screaming on through one end before. Oh my god. No screaming over no. there. No. Screaming over here. Try again? Yeah. Three, two. Okay, so he's going crazy. Why do you keep screaming? There's no need to scream if you can just clearly tell us your name. Is that you in the bathroom? Is that you walking around down there? Is that you in the bathroom? Is there anything you want to tell us? Floorboards. Pretty clear knock from yeah. the yeah. holding area. Yeah. crazy. Buzzing screaming. Mm-hmm. Building. What's crazy is it didn't pick up any of the conversation with the knock in there. Oh, yeah, yeah it didn't hear anything no. that we said, right? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, it overrode. That's Lost completely weird. during that moment. I mean, realistically, we haven't even done what well, I think is probably the hot spot. Nazi uh, stairwell. Yeah. That's where everyone died. 
Oh, I just got a headache. Oh, it's a headache right there. Yeah. Oh, that's a fun one. Right in the eye socket, huh? Mm. That's a joyful place to get a headache. Ow. How are you feeling? Me? Yeah. Uh, down mine's too. always been, my head's just been very heavy the whole time. Oh, yeah, me too. Yeah. Before we close this, because the instructions say we can't leave the room until we close it. I'm having fun. Just to try it. This one could be a huge fail. You want to put your hand on the ball and see if anything happens for like 30 seconds? Yeah. And then let Ginger do it and I'll do it. Yeah. And then we'll we'll consider this one uh nothing drastically has changed. Whatever happens, yeah. Just see if anything happens, I don't know. I haven't really uh, done too many rituals in my day. Nothing. No cat balls, no flashlights, no red pods. Nothing. Does having a female up here make you angry? Do you feel she belongs in hell? Jody. Is there anything else that you're open to saying to us? Any other form of communication at all? This is only an attempt to make it easier to hear from you or the energy or the compound energy within the scared end. Anything? Anything? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's kind of cool. It's like kind of almost like more validating to last night's. Yeah. Which had a whole lot more Latin and hair. <laughs> it says that uh, salt and circle is then carefully scattered around, breaking the physical connection. So if you want to just scatter that, the circle of salt that we spread. Then, after it says, the participants leave the room in silence, ensuring that the energy stays contained and not attached to them. The door to the room should be closed behind them, not to be opened until the ritual is intentionally ended. The ritual is not ended until the sigil is placed back on to the scrying mirror or ball and the candle is relit, it released and then communicated with again. Okay, you guys, I'll leave the room in silence and then I will place this back on, relight the candle. And that ends this. Or sigil, candle. Listen up for me. Will do. That comes off. That comes off. That's not done. 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 And. Last 
last but not least. Foot to red. Oh. That's never happened before. Mm -mm. Different place, different ceremony, different results. Yeah, completely different style, too. Yeah. Throw the bag or not? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That way you can go and chill out, and then if you puke more, you just go back I just don't- look how scary it looks in there! She's like, oh, her own. By myself? <laughs> I'll stay here, I'm full yeah. fine. You think I'm gonna go in there by myself? No, we put the fire on. No, it's okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> you sure you want the fire on? No, I'm good. <laughs> you were just outside puking. That's fine though, I feel better now, because I puked it out. Puked what out? I don't know. See, Stop. that's the problem. I just don't want to be alone in the RV or alone over there. Just gonna hang out here? What are you gonna do? We're gonna investigate the stairs. Okay. I'll hang out by the stairs. <laughs> 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 what the is? difference between needing fresh air and I'm gonna vomit. Well, I've been needing to vomit for a while, but I was playing it cool because we were doing stuff. Why would- what? I wasn't gonna puke while this guy's sleeping. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let me hold on a minute. <laughs> Wait, is that when it happened? It's been brewing for a minute. When did you realize you had a puke? I mean, I've been nauseous since I started getting a headache. When Which did you was get a headache? When we were sitting in that room. That's when I first felt Doing it. Doing what? When we first sat in the room? When we first sat in the room. Why, why did you just say that? Like an hour and 48 minutes ago. Because I'm, I'm ghost hunting, doing things. I'm trying to be strong. And then I said, I'll take a air break so I can go puke real quick. What, do you want me to quit? No, you can just go outside and puke. I did. And then Ben come back in. I... She's back in. <laughs> I can't do it right now. You don't have to wait an hour and a half to say it. It's fine. Looks like Dora when ghost hunting. <laughs> Dora? Like Dora the Explorer? Yeah. Dora the ghost hunter. Dora the ghost explorer. <laughs> I'm happy to take your lead on this one if you already kind of yeah. have a gist on what, what works for you. I mean, we kind of just huddle around the stairs and sat on the stairs shouting upwards. So I'll go rig two of these up real quick then. Okay. I will say I was in the, um, I was telling you when we lit the fire, like, things kicked off even more. I don't know if it's like a trigger object. It's energy too. Oh! No way! Oh! Do you have a body camera? Yeah! Yeah, I have a body camera on! What? The REM pod finally went off! Which one? The one on the top of the stairs. The wood box. The beer what? one? Right at the same time as this one down here. Why are they both go the same time? The same exact time. If someone were to hang from there, they would reach that point and that point at like within a second of each other. Right? Yeah. True. Yeah, it'd be three, two, whoop, bam, bam. Oh, this flashlight just died in my hand. Just straight up completely out. This thing was on full blast a second ago. It's my only light up here right now. Let that smolder a bit and then put the bigger logs on. But yeah, it does kick off a lot more with that pure energy. As promised, the wood box went off. We'd pour a beer. Now I'm making a mockery of this. <laughs> Oh, that's not too bad. There we go. That's it. Oh, that's good. Nice. I'll leave this here just in case anything happens with the beer. Cool. Let's see. Let's run. Did a long investigation. Mm -hmm. Like five hours straight. No break. Painted neck. Oh my god. Painted neck. 
Painted, yeah. Painted. I, I wonder if that was like a saying, maybe. Maybe you'd have to look that up, but oh. the fact that you make a red mark on your neck. Yeah. With a painted neck. He was buried with a painted neck. Yeah. yeah. Could be an old saying. Or imagine if they even did a viewing, they'd have to like put makeup on it. Are they like hide scars and things? Fire. Fire? Ask. Got it. Ask. Was that the expression? That you, you said you had a painted neck after all the trauma you went through in such a horrendous way to die? The last thing I said about you was that you had a painted neck. I could absolutely see that being a say. Yeah, yeah, me too. Like a yellow belly. Mm. Almost like um, maybe like a, a cord where it's not to scourge you in prison, right? Yeah, he's, he's going to be getting a painted mm -hmm. neck. Like a threat almost, isn't it? <coughs> yeah, that's really tiny. Yeah. Oh, it's so weird. I feel like I have a huge ball of phlegm in my throat right now. I've been having that since we've been in room three. That's one of the symptoms mm -hmm. people get. Especially yeah. here. I wish you could actively get an MRI while ghost hunting so people could like see that happen. Is there anyone at the top or bottom of the stairs? Can you bring your presence close to the banister up top or the steps near the bottom? It's coming from straight up this. Can you try and bring your energy closer to the stairwell again? We could almost hear you. I hope the body camera up there caught it. It sounded like it was coming from the top of the stairwell. The mm. Right here? Well, this is where they'll die. Mm. I happen to have it. Power of the best. Hopefully we don't have a screen. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Does anyone here have a message they would like to share? Hey. Anyone here, anyone at all, that's passed away inside this building, that's been thrown down these stairs to the death, now is your chance to come and say one last word and even get a pint of beer from it. We can whisper.
then whisper and let us know that you're here. We just want to know who is here with us and we want to hear from you. A lot of you had unfair deaths and we're sorry for that. But we're here to listen to you now and hear your words. Please let us know your last words here, your last thoughts on earth. One last question. That's none of us, by the way. Mm -hmm. I'm not moving at all. Can you tell us who or what made Ginger sick? Talking. I'm right next to Dan. What the f***? It is on that. Dude, it is going off. It's not blocking it yet. I had one eye. So for clarification, see how close you have to reach that. Picture up here. Stops here. Yeah. Died a long time ago. to make peace. So when when I was here the first time, we were goal something, we had stuff happen. But it's when we just chilled out for a bit by the fire. Yeah. Stuff started going haywire. Mm, like you Stuff. left all your devices up yeah. while you were doing that. Major. But it was like, it was like the fact that we just sat there. It's like it brought whatever in. Hey, if, you, if you want to sit down and eat some pizza and take a break. We'll keep rolling. For the sake of activity? Yeah. Sounds mm. like a good ghost hunt to me. 
<laughs> Sounds like the best ghost hunt I've ever been on. <laughs> You're telling me my job right now is to eat pizza? <laughs> what? That's crazy. She said, yeah. What? It said, I was like... Do you want some pizza? Oh, it did say platter. Earlier, remember? Spread. Spread, spread yeah. place, that's spread. Alright, I'll put a piece of pizza... It Whoa, every time you Yeah, maybe pizza, it doesn't want dude. beer, it wants pizza. I'll put pizza next to the beer. You're welcome to grab it whenever you want and hang out with us. What we got in the very first room tonight. The cabinet door opening, the REM pods going off, the Panasonic. Would have been like the ultimate ghost hunting video for me. Yeah. Like five years ago. Yeah. And now I'm like... Now, open the cabinet door two more times. Knock the whole thing <laughs> two, off into the two ground. Two more times. It's like, we'll hear EVPs that are like, go to hell, you piece of... Right? And we're like, okay, but could you, like, say it quietly? <laughs> you know, like, can you not scream it? Like, yeah. I need to... It's just so... It's so crazy. But now it's, like, the standard of, like, expectation for so ghost I think it's just not even, like, a good video if it's just... Like, oh, cabin opened twice, and... Yeah, it's like, if I don't get, like, an answer about, like, what does the underworld look like, or, like, how are you here, what do you see, how are you... You know what I mean? It's just, like, how do you feel about your ghost sense? I'm yeah. just saying. You're saying, right? Yeah, it's but just... if anything major happen, I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. But stuff I'm happy, have, I do have happen, like, with a DR60, if I had a call down wow. five, six years ago, I'd have been over the... Yeah. And I've been jumping off a joint. But I've been plastering nothing everywhere online. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, it's like, okay, well, you know, they spoke to us for a bit and on to the next one. Yeah, for all, I mean, we have a five and a half plot. I don't even know how long it is, EVP. I know. Five and a half minutes. Like, we, yeah. I'm lucky to get like eight seconds. That was mm -hmm. That's crazy. I mean, I'd be curious to see how many people would like to download and listen to the full thing and maybe. Yeah. If you have a bit, bit of a target, you could drop a link on the next video for a Google Drive containing all that. Mm. Or just go over to Patreon and you'll find out. This guy's marketing right now. <laughs> this guy's killing him. Yeah, right. can, you, can you look at my bag, G, and tell me like right here my thumb is? So there's just like some crazy like mark or bruise or something. Like right in the center area. Am I just being weird? Like right there? Like on the spine, center of the spinal cord. Yeah, there's a red dot right there. Right there? I think so. Probe it. It's like a bright red, almost high, looks like a small, like, like a blood. Like a, no, like a, like a white head, but it's red, like blood. Hmm. Now I'm on your right there? A spider. Here, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just show you. It's right here. Right here hurts like hell. Right here. Yeah, that hurts. Oh, yep. sorry. <laughs> One thing that I think could happen yeah. is I think that that piece Don't wait, no. If you say it, I might have a nightmare about it. Oh, okay. Then nothing's gonna happen. What do you think would happen? Well, no trouble here. All right, Fanny. I'm just here to kick it. Just here to sleep. 